up? It's three pound fishing back at you for Grizzly Jig TV and we're back out here on Lake of Egypt and today what we're going to be talking about is side imaging. Today the focus is going to be purely electronics and how important they are in finding the brush pile. Let's get it done. One of the most important things about finding fish, finding crappie is your electronics. Now I personally go with Hummingbird, that's what I'm used to, but there's no difference between, in my personal opinion, between Lowrance and Hummingbird. Great units and uh, I just prefer Helix at the moment. I always go over to side imaging and we start to troll. So I've got my side imaging set up for four miles an hour and I always troll just a little bit less. For some reason that gives me the best image. I have mine set for 60 foot left, 60 foot right. It is the perfect distance on both sides to give me a good image where I can actually see fish and I can get a really good clear shot of that brush pile. Before we get started here, I wanna start off by saying there are two very important settings on your side imaging. One is sensitivity and one is contrast. And you can get that on Hummingbird by going to your SI Enhanced here out of your men menu. So if you, go, if you hit menu once, there's SI Enhanced. You've got your sensitivity and your contrast settings. Basically, these settings need to set, set up roughly in the middle, somewhere around 10. So you can notice that I have mine both set at 12 and 12. Sharpness is always off. Contour mode is always off, at least for me. Now, again, I have mine set at four miles an hour. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna troll roughly around three and a half, 3.6, something like that. That's what I'm comfortable with. I set my left to 60, my right to 60. That gives me a 120 foot swath through this water. So we've come up on something here, something big over here, something's going on. Looks like a lot of lay downs. Okay, great shot right there. That's a great lay down right here. And when I'm looking for fish, I'm looking for little white specks. But you're looking for lay downs, big lay downs. Now this is the water column. So we've gotten shallower, we've gotten, so these guys here are kind of up on a hump. There's really no art to it, folks, other than really setting up your unit and getting familiar with what side imaging is. You set your sensitivity, you set your contrast to kind of somewhere in the middle. And you can tweak it as you're rolling across this just to kind of see that you've got a good image. Now, something to keep in mind is that if you have two units, two transducers, I should say, on your boat and they are both down at the same time, you might get what's called interference. Now, it's not a big deal because a lot of times when you're doing searching with, with side imaging, you won't typically have your trolling motor down when you're doing that. So, wow, look at this. Okay, so this is what we're definitely gonna fish. That's awesome. Folks, this is all great structure right here, and these are things that you can choose to fish or not choose to fish. But regardless, what you're looking for are white specks, and maybe you can't pick it up on the camera itself because they are very faint, but there are small white specks here on this end of the tree. I don't see white specks anywhere else, but I definitely see them on that side of the tree, and that's what we're gonna fish. coming at you. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining me today. Good episode on side imaging, just a little taste of it. Obviously you have to get out on the water and you need to uh, experience it yourself. You actually have to get out there and tweak it yourself. That makes you more and more, you get more and more familiar with it. But hey, that's a good eater right there. That's a good eater right there. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Grizzly Jig TV, baby. Three pound fishing, baby. Woo!